All right, we're still looking at types of data. I want us to take a look at some examples together of how to classify um, a variable by the type of data as well as the level of measurements. So let's take a look. The number of books students carry in their backpacks. Would it be qualitative or quantitative? Initially, the words number of jump out at me, which would imply is quantitative. If it's quantitative, I need to think about is it discrete or continuous? Since I'm counting the number of books, it would be discrete. So it is quantitative discrete. In terms of the level of measurement, I need to think about what does zero mean? If I say I have zero books in the backpack, does that mean none? If zero implies none, then I'm at the ratio level. The weights of backpacks with books in them. Again, weight seems to imply a number or an amount, which would make it quantitative. However, now it could be continuous because I'm using some sort of measuring tool or I'm measuring something. So it's quantitative continuous. Again, in terms of the level of measurement with it being quantitative, it's either interval or ratio. And to make the determination again, I have to think about what does zero mean? If the backpack weighs zero pounds, that means I have no weight or probably no backpack. So that is the ratio level. The colors of the backpacks that students carry. Well, colors obviously don't involve numbers. So it is words, so that would be qualitative data. Qualitative data is neither discrete nor continuous. If it's qualitative in terms of the level of measurement, it's either going to be nominal or ordinal. Since color doesn't really have a sense of order to it, I'm going to say it is nominal. Prices of your favorite pair of jeans. Let's see, prices involve money. Money is numbers. So I'm going to say quantitative for sure. Then I have to think about is it discrete or continuous? I suppose you could go either way, but we typically think about things in terms of whole units. So we would say $20 or even if it's $19.99. Um, that's considered whole or discrete. Um, if it's quantitative, it's either going to be interval or ratio. Again, thinking about what zero means, if I say the price is zero dollars, that would mean I would be getting my blue jeans for free. Sizes of t-shirts. Typically, sizes are going to be things like um, small, medium, large, extra large, and so forth. Doesn't really involve numbers. Those are words. So I would say it is qualitative, which means it's neither discrete nor continuous. If it's qualitative, the level of measurement is either going to be nominal or ordinal. In this case, it is ordinal because there is that sense of order, small, medium, large, extra large. We go from smallest to large or larger. So it is ordinal. The number of t-shirts you own. Again, the word, the phrase number of jumps out at me, which makes me think um, quantitative. I would count. The number of shirts that I have, so that would be discrete. So it's quantitative discrete, which means it's either going to be interval or ratio. Thinking about what zero means, if I say I have zero t-shirts, means I have none, which would be ratio. 
bank account PIN numbers. Well, it is numbers, but do I calculate with those numbers? Not usually. So that makes a bank account PIN number qualitative, which means it's neither discrete or continuous. And it would simply be at the nominal level. Okay, there's no sense of order or ranking to bank account PIN numbers. The jersey numbers on baseball players or basketball players or football players. You just think about the jersey numbers. Again, they're numbers, but we don't typically calculate with them. So again, it is qualitative. It's neither discrete nor continuous. And furthermore, it would be nominal. There's no sense of order to um, the jersey numbers on the baseball players or basketball players or football players. The temperature at the local baseball game. Temperature is something we measure, so it's going to be numbers. And since we're measuring, it would be quantitative, continuous, and it's either going to be at the interval or ratio level. Thinking about what zero means, zero degrees does not mean no temperature, so it's at the interval level. 